The IMF's Rapid Financing Instrument, RFI, April 9, 2020. The Rapid Financing Instrument, RFI, provides a rapid financial assistance which is available to all member countries facing an urgent balance of payments need. The RFI was created as part of a broader reform to make the IMF's financial support more flexible to address the diverse needs of member countries. The RFI replaced the IMF's previous emergency assistance policy and can be used in a wide range of circumstances. Rapid support for urgent balance of payments needs. The RFI provides rapid and low access financial assistance to member countries facing an urgent balance of payments need without the need to have a full-fledged program in place. It can also provide support to meet a broad range of urgent needs, including those arising from commodity price shocks, natural disasters, conflict and post-conflict situations and emergencies resulting from fragility. As a single flexible mechanism with a broad coverage, the RFI replaced the IMF's previous policy that covered Emergency Natural Disaster Assistance ENDA and Emergency Post-Conflict Assistance EPCA. The RFI is available to all member countries, although member countries eligible for the Poverty Reduction and Growth Trust are more likely to use the similar Concessional Rapid Credit Facility RCF. The RFI is designed for situations where a full-fledged economic program is neither necessary nor feasible. The former situation may arise when the shock is transitory and limited in nature, while the latter may arise when the member's policy design or implementation capacity is limited, including due to the urgent nature of the balance of payments need or fragilities. In response to members' large and urgent COVID-19-related financing needs, access limits under the regular window of the RFI has been temporarily increased from 50 to 100% of quota per year and from 100 to 150% of quota on a cumulative basis net of scheduled repurchases. The higher access limit will apply for an initial six-month period from April 6, 2020 to October 5, 2020 and may be extended by the IMF's Executive Board. The access limits under the large natural disaster window remain unchanged at 80% of quota per year and 133.33% of quota on a cumulative basis for use in cases where the damage suffered is assessed to be 20% of GDP or more and the members' existing and prospective policies are sufficiently strong to address the natural disaster shock. The level of access in individual cases depends on the country's balance of payments need, capacity to repay, the member's outstanding fund credit and its record of using fund resources in the past. Financial assistance provided under the RFI is subject to the same financing terms as the Flexible Credit Line FCL, the Precautionary and Liquidity Line PLL, and standby arrangements SBA and should be repaid within three and a quarter to five years. Financial assistance under the RFI is provided in the form of outright purchases without the need for a full-fledged program or reviews. A member country requesting RFI assistance is required to cooperate with the IMF to make efforts to solve its balance of payments difficulties and to describe the general economic policies that it proposes to follow. Prior actions may be required where warranted. Broader IMF engagement. While financing under the RFI is often a one-off purchase in the case of an urgent balance of payments need of limited duration, there is a scope for repeated use. A repeated use of the RFI within any three-year period is possible if the balance of payments need is caused primarily by exogenous shocks or the country has established a track record of adequate macroeconomic policies including through a staff monitored program prior to the request. As under the RCFF, in addition to the provision of emergency assistance under the RFI, the fund may also provide technical assistance to build the country's capacity to implement comprehensive macroeconomic policies. 
Areas of focus may include building statistical capacity and establishing and organizing fiscal, monetary, and exchange institutions to help build tax and government expenditure capacity, payment, credit, and foreign exchange operations.